had your history lesson. We'll let you come back to listening to us. We have a quartet coming up to play for us. The piece is called Espionage. Think of spies. Um, it's written by Susan Mutter, who happens to be the conductor of the Orchard Lake Philharmonic Society and began studying French horn at the age 10. Can you go ahead? You go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Anyway, she began studying horn at age 10, and she studied with two people who are really famous horn players here in the United States. One is Phil Farkas, who, like, wrote the Bible on horn, and the other is Dale Clevenger, and uh, was a fantastic uh, horn player, and she still plays horn and teaches horn and piano. This piece was premiered, here we go with my pronunciation again, at the Conservatoire de la Severza Italiana in Lujan, Switzerland. So without any further ado, espionage. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've been told that we need a 10-minute intermission. So we'll have a 10-minute intermission. If you want to come up, just don't fall over the elf horns laying up here, but you're more than welcome to come up and look at what's on the table. The horn poster that's over there, get up, stretch. We're, we're into the final stretch. We've got, you know, just three or four more pieces and we'll be done. But please, uh, 10 after 3, we'll start back. Come back here if we can get everybody back to where they belong. Um, I loved listening to various and sundry people try the, the elf horns up here. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Um, we're going to start with a piece for 12 horns, and um, the name of this piece is Here's That Rainy Day. It's, it's like one of my favorite pieces. It's just gorgeous. This, the bigger horn groups, the 12 and 16 groups, were originally performed by a, a group called the London Horn Sound, and Serena found these and ordered the pieces, and that's how we got into them. London Horn Sound is just like we are. It's a bunch of horn players in, in London, and they play a lot of them. There's some freelancers. Some of them play with the London Symphony Orchestra. Some of them play with the London Philharmonic. They're all from different groups that are in the London area, and there's 16 of them that get together and play, and it's really interesting. I got onto a site and was looking, and it actually tells you what kind of French horns they play. And so for a horn player, that's like, well, that's cool. They play the same horn that I do. Um, but anyway, that's what the group was like. And the arranger of this piece is, um, his, his, is it Bissell? Is that what the arrangers? Okay, that's what I thought. He is the principal horn for the Tucson Symphony Orchestra. And for those of you that have ever seen or listened to the music from Lord of the Rings, he's the solo horn player on that album. So he's the arranger on most of these pieces. Uh, Here's That Rainy Day was written in 1953 by Jimmy Van Heusen and Johnny Burke for the Broadway musical Carnival in Flanders. And I'm going to read you the lyrics so that you can, some of you probably already know the lyrics, but if, in case you don't. Maybe I should have saved those leftover dreams. Funny, but here's that rainy day. Here's that rainy day they told me about, and I laughed at the thought that it might turn out this way. Where's that worn-out wish that I threw aside after it brought my lover near? Oh, funny how love becomes a cold rainy day. Funny that rainy day is here.
I told you it was great. <laughs>